going on people it's the xbox 448 and today guys i want to tackle um basically what's been going on uh with microsoft and xbox in terms of one new studio called the initiative now for people who don't know the initiative is one of those studios that at this past e3 uh, Phil Spencer announced, you know, was a new studio at Xbox, aka First Party. Now, when they first put it out there, um, you know, in, in typing, in letter form, uh, they said Quadruple A Studio. So that's four A's. And people thought it was a typo. I even thought it was a typo. I never heard of such a thing. But come to find out, um, Microsoft is making it a thing and with that being said you know they recently had a few hires that a lot of people are kind of going crazy about um we have like the the head uh production manager for the most recent God of War we've we have people who um worked with the reboot for Tomb Raider uh just we could go on and on down the list of really I, I guess you could say credible people within the gaming industry. I actually have the list of names right here. You can go and look them up if you want. It's uh, Brian Westergaard, Annie Lore, Christian uh, Contamesa, Blake Fisher, Daniel Newberger, and uh, Lindsey McQueenie as of right now. Um, and people are making a big deal out of this. And I'm looking at this like in a certain way and I, I wanted to put my opinion out here and I wanted of course to know what you guys think now when this studio was announced and it was confirmed that they are calling it a quadruple a studio what kind of people do you think that they would hire for this studio do you think that they would take you know people just coming up um you know devs just getting out of school or do you think that they would go and they would grab you know really credible people really credible names really talented developers from within the industry i picked the latter all right i'm excited for the studio i want to see what's going on if you look at their hires they're, they're all they all come from a genre of like action adventure games and, and stuff like that so i'm excited to see what they're going to bring to the table but at the end of the day guys i gotta say I'm not surprised, all right? I, I know this is great news and stuff like that, but I see people acting like all astonished at the names that they're bringing in, and I'm thinking to myself, it's kind of what I expected, people. It's kind of what I wanted them to do. If they're gonna go out and they're gonna kind of like create a new category, quadruple A studio, I wanna see that quadruple A talent. And I think so far, they're doing what they're supposed to do not only that i want the best coffee bringer and stuff like that going to this team um and I'm, I'm not surprised i don't know why anybody should be surprised i don't think you should it's just uh it looks like they are living up to what they are calling this studio and it looks like it's gonna be um a quality studio now at the end of the day as with any studio we want to see what they're making we got we got to see their progress we got to see uh the quality of the game but this is a really great start and i know um there's people trying to downplay this a as well and i gotta say for the people who are downplaying it you're, you're just not i don't think you're xbox fans um i think you might prefer another piece of plastic and you know with seeing what they're doing at, at this place i know the the biggest thing is like well wh what game are they making and, and it's like they just hired people i mean they can't hire people and then two days later have like a demonstration of the game they're making it, it's gonna take a while you know when it comes to games being developed we we often think three to four years of game development um we're at 2018 right now so i'm thinking 2021 uh 2021 2022 possibly when their first game is going to come out and yes it, it is really early but I, i'm excited uh it looks like they're living up to their promises the things that they said that they want to do you know with this studio and with xbox as a whole 
and, and I think that's going to be another video as well because um, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, where are the games? And they're downplaying kind of like the studios that have been purchased, like Ninja Theory uh, and stuff like that. You know, bringing in, bringing them into the first party team at Xbox, people are downplaying it. It's like, well, I don't see any games. And it's like, they're not going to just all, all of a sudden, magically, here comes new games for Xbox. But they are living up to their promise of investing heavily in first party and and with that i i don't think a lot of people out there are giving them this credit um i i, I think there's still kind of like this whole fanboyism going on um i'll give i'll give playstation you know credit when it's due i'll give nintendo credit when it's due uh i look at the entire industry as a gamer of course i will call companies out and stuff as i feel fit as well but at the end of the day it looks like you know Xbox and Microsoft are living up to their promises. I know Phil Spencer is living up to his. He made three promises when he took over. Um, that was to deal with the whole power situation that we were dealing with earlier in this generation. And he did that with the Xbox One X. And even to a certain extent, the S. Um, he promised you know, the shareholders at, at Microsoft that he was going to get the Xbox app on multiple devices. And he has done that. And... The third thing, and this is not in any particular order, but the third thing, the one thing left he said was heavy investment on games. And you can see that. Five new studios. You see the initiative and, and uh, the talent that they're bringing over there. Rumors of Obsidian. It, it just goes on and on. So this guy is a man of his word. Uh, you know, regardless of what you think about the Xbox brand, we got to say that it was a really really great idea to put phil spencer in charge of xbox but as usual guys hit up the comment section i want to know what you guys think do you see what i'm saying that it wasn't really a big surprise to me because that is the type of studio um they've been promoting that they have been marketing i i did not think that they were going to get you know uh just recent graduates you know still wet behind the ears and 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 bring them on to this studio no this is a studio for quality names for uh significant um kind of like established talent within the gaming industry and and i'm excited so hit up the comment section let me know what you think um as usual if you like the gameplay you like the topic definitely hit that thumbs up button for me and if you haven't subscribed yet definitely subscribe but as for now, this is the Xbox 448, and I am definitely signing off. Trying to get demons up out of me. Turn to a beast, eat your arteries. Deceasing opponents so properly. Unleashing the dark side, what got to me? We come to take this shit over.